How can improv help you redefine failure so you don't feel bad if you don't do well? Well, the answer to that question can be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Failure is one of the biggest fears that people have. Now, I'm not a big believer in failure. What I mean by that is I try to redefine any, quote, failed attempt as a learning experience. It's a way not to do something. That, that's not the purpose of this video. The reason I mention failure is because improv is a perfect place to practice and not succeed. As you've probably picked up on in other videos, there's nothing scripted about improv. It's all in the moment. You get out of your head, you react to what your partner says, and you keep building scenes. In that sense, there is no failure. Even with the topic that you heard a couple of days ago about yes and, if you accidentally throw out a no or a but, it hurts the scene and may kill it, but guess what? You just stop, you start a new scene. There is no failure. What this concept of no failure teaches you is how to keep going. Learn, get some experience, see what doesn't work, try something else. In relating this to the speaking world, it's the exact same concept. There is no one right way to speak. I've written a book about storytelling. I've created a course about speaking. I've had some of the best speech coaches in the world, but my way is only one way. There are many successful ways you can present. The key to effective speaking is to get out there and attempt different ways to write your material, present your ideas. I believe where improv helps the most is helping people get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Step outside of that zone of comfort. Try something silly, funny, even stupid. Just do it. Some of my most insightful lines and funniest moments came from improv situations where I, I trained my mind just to try something different. It takes practice, but it's worth it. Same thing with your speaking. Get out there and try new ideas. Get some feedback. Find out what works, what doesn't. But keep this in mind. There is no failure in speaking, just learning. Tomorrow, you'll hear about the benefits of improv in helping your creativity. Talk to you then.